William Shockley was born December 4, 1918 in Oklahoma. He enlisted in the National Guard's 128th Infantry Regiment from Selma, California in January 1940. His unit was called to federal service as part of the 32nd Infantry Division the following October and after training in Louisiana, moved by convoy to Australia. The 32nd Infantry was among the first U.S. divisions to engage in action against the enemy in World War II. PFC Shockley participated with the 128th in battles in New Guinea, where he was awarded the Purple Heart and the Combat Infantryman Badge. His unit landed at Leyte, Philippines, where they handed the Japanese Imperial First Marines their only loss in 200 years. After the amphibious landing at Lingayen Gulf on Luzon, the 32nd moved inland on March 31, 1945, on the Villa Verde Trail, Shockley was in position with Company L, 128th Infantry, on a hill when the enemy, after concentration of artillery fire, launched a counterattack. Although his weapon jammed twice, he was able to clear it and halted one enemy charge. Hostile troops then began moving in on his left flank, and he quickly shifted his gun to fire on them. Knowing that the enemy was cutting off the only route of escape, he ordered the remainder of his squad to withdraw to safety, while he maintained his position under intense enemy fire to provide the cover while the rest of the unit retreated. He continued to fire until he was killed during the ensuing enemy charge. PFC Shockley, facing certain death, sacrificed himself to save his fellow soldiers, but the heroism and gallantry displayed by him enabled his squad to reorganize and continue its attack. PFC Shockley was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor Seven months later, on October 19, 1945, he was buried in Floral Memorial Cemetery, Selma, California.